It all started with the First Anglo-Burmese War as the British took control of Assam and Manipur, drawn by the prospect of profitable tea plantations and trade, the British started expanding into the Naga Hills. Isn't it ironic that the colonizers known to slash and burn everything in their way to subjugate the natives, always paint the defenders, the natives as the savages? Ironic or not, they did the same to the Nagas. They painted the Naga Highlands as the place where civilization ended and unruly savages took over. Even after launching nearly 10 expeditions to subdue the Nagas, the British faced defeat and humiliation repeatedly. This resulted in the Battle of Kakrima. This battle was not the outcome of colonial forces seeking to attack and subdue the village, as they had reduced to rubble and burned many Naga villages. But because Kikrumal warriors had openly challenged British troops to a fight. The Naga warriors put up a strong resistance against the well-equipped British forces, forcing the initiation of the policy of non-interference in the hills by the British. And, 